Is Bitcoin mining worth it in July 2019? Profitable or not? So let's mine away. Hello guys, BitTruth here. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin mining. And this video was supposed to get out, you know, yesterday, before yesterday. But I was, like, occupied at the time. So anyways, let's start with the video. Today we're going to look at a couple miners. Okay, like Bitcoin miners. And I think the most profitable miner is the Micro BT what's miner m20s now not based on the daily profitability i'm going to come into a hypothesis i just formed okay about some of the miners and how to perceive which one is profitable slash efficient okay by using mathematics anyways let's look at the micro bt also we're going to look at the s17 okay and especially about the s17 i was like preaching that you know most people telling me you know i have for example, 2,000 pounds, 2,500 euros, for example, I want to invest in Bitcoin mining. You know, at the time, Coin Mining Central, okay, were selling the B Bitcoin miner, okay, the S70 for 1,700 pounds, which is about, you know, roughly $2,100. Now it's, you know, they picked up the price, which I think is a bit too much inflated. Now, you know, it was on sale, but then, you know, they stopped selling them. So anyways, on Bitmain, they're cheaper. But, you know, if you're in Europe or slash the UK, you can get them free shipping. So that will help. We're also going to look at the T3 plus 52T. Now, the funny thing is you will not find this miner on InnoSilicon's website. So I found the closest one to it, the T3 50T. The, the last miner we're going to look at, which is a bit interesting, the eBank EBIT 11 plus plus, which I had a lot of people contacting me. They had the eBank 11, okay, the old version, and they were not making as much money as the E11 plus plus, which I think is logical. So let's start with the micro BT. What's miner M20S? Now this miner, okay, is coming really soon in August, which is not too far away. We're literally right now in the 8th of July, so. No time is running out. Okay, if I were you, I would actually pre-order. But funny enough, there's a website that say they are in stock. Now I don't know about pro miners. Okay, if they're legit or not legit. But I have actually confirmed the legitimacy of Coin Mining Central. The other miners, I'm not sure from where they are. For example, this one is from Hong Kong. The other one is from Switzerland. So different websites, different places. So Pro Miners, which is from uh, Switzerland, selling it for $4,000. Now let's hypothesize right here. Okay, 70,000 giga hashes, 70 tera hashes. You have also 3,360 watts. I believe, you know, another thing I want to tell you about is that the more miners that come out, the more hash rate there will be, the more electricity consumption that will be. Which, which means that, you know, time will come, okay, next year, probably, where you will see Bitcoin mining is not even an option in a home residence. You will have to mine it, you know, in a commercial place. So, uh, it's going to be really scary to see that transition from, you know, home mining into, you know, commercial mining and, you know, commercial mining forms. Anyways, let's actually try and, you know. So, even with this inflated price, Okay, from this website, Pro Miners, legitimate or not, I'm not sure. Even though it's thousand dollars more than this website, okay, and in stock, you're going to break even in 225 days. And any price action of Bitcoin, okay, is going to render you know the 225 days to break even even less. So you're going to have 150 days, 130 days. Heck, you're going to have 50 days. So it keeps moving towards you know that option if you know cryptocurrencies. Prices are going to increase, especially Bitcoin. So we're looking at a profit of six thousand dollars annually, which is about double the investment price, which is really interesting. Okay, in terms of a business standpoint, you know, some investments, you know, they pay about you know eight percent, eleven percent conservative investment, you know, uh, percentages. Savings account pays about you know two percent, four percent below the inflation rate. So. I think Bitcoin mining is going to replace the whole savings account thing. You know, it's just a dream anyways. Let's look at the Ant Miner S17. Now, this miner, you know, as I said, most people were contacting me. What miner should I buy? You know, I want to get into cryptocurrency mining. And they were giving me around valuation of 2,000 pounds, 2,500 pounds or euros. Okay, they're literally the same. Anyways, so they were on sale on Coin Mining Central, but because the you know supply and demand plays in, uh, the price has you know jacked up a little bit. So uh, 
we're going to see actually the price has increased 56,000 giga hashes, $5,000 annually, 179 days to break even. Are you serious? $2,505. I think the reason why it will break even with the S17 faster is because logically from the price, this price is not logical, 3,790, but you know, if you can get your hands on that, I would get it because 70 tera hashes, that's a new all time high in hash rate for miners so the next miner we're going to look at is the t3 plus 52t now funny enough you cannot find it on inno silicon's website for some reason i keep looking and looking and looking but you cannot find anything anyways you will have this two thousand dollars special pre-order price which is weird okay uh, it goes for 17 light coins which is also weird Okay, 2000 you know, hardware cost, 12 cents per kilo hour, okay, average of the United States. Okay, and even if you live in Europe and you have 25 cents, 30 cents, heck, 50 cents, if that even exists. Okay, you know, it doesn't matter because the profitability of these miners is really high to the extent that you could mine at any location right now. That's why I always suggest Bitcoin mining over any other altcoin mining. Even with an ASIC, like for example, your mining grin or Saya coin, for example, on the obelisk immersion. Okay, even you know the profitability is high a couple days, couple months, but the profitability won't be high in the long term. For example, the S9, you know, a lot of people are buying the S9s, they're literally three years old miners, 14.5 tera hashes, and people are still buying them. Do you know why? Because you know, Bitcoin mining is much more stable, much more efficient, and much more profitable over the long term if we look at, you know, the charts of any other miner out there. So, let's calculate uh, 200 days. Well, you see, you know, 200, 250 days averages, which is still a lot of profitability, to be honest. The EBIT 11 plus plus, and I'm going to come into my hypothesis in a second. This goes for 44 terahashes per second. 1980 watts and you know at the end of the day if you get the miner this miner or the t3 plus or you know the ant miner s17 any miner out there they're all profitable right now you know anything that you just put in electricity connect some internet and everything start flipping so you know everything is profitable right now 44 terash is 1980 okay uh, watts now the pool fees i do not consider them because uh you know it averages to different websites now here 219 days now my hypothesis is you know i saw the micro bt okay uh, em 20s and the interesting thing about them they have like 70 tera hashes which is the first time like let's look at this website okay the like the charts okay it's the highest tera hashes now you have this asic minor 8 nano pro okay from this website but i've got a lot of you know a lot of reviews that are really negative about this website and you know they don't deliver any miners and they're scammers and I don't want to go to that territory so I will we'll go to the actual legitimate websites my hypothesis is even if you know the terahashes hashes increase the electricity increase now that's you know logical right but if we look at other miners okay even if it increases it's still efficient, you know, the ratio between 70,000 giga hashes divided by 3,360 watts will get 21 nearly or 20.8. Okay, that's efficient. But if we look at other miners like the S17 and eBank 11 plus plus, they render the same ratio, which is 22.2. So even, you know, even if the, you know, the electricity rate is really high, 3,360, and the amount of terahashes hash, tera is, you know, really high. Always make a ratio between the two, you know, the two, uh, the electricity and the hash rates. Okay, 70,000 giga hashes divided by the watts. And you will get, you know, so the latest miner, this one, okay, is actually efficient. So if I were you, I would get this in stock, even if it's like inflated price. Okay, uh, I'm not suggesting so because I'm not sure the legitimacy of this site, but... If more sites are going to actually come in stock because some sites are coming in, you know, really uh, long or really late. As you can see in October 2019, this miner will render up obsolete or not really profitable. So I would get my hands on one really fast or, you know, pre-order or anything. So that will work out. So is Bitcoin mining profitable? Yes. But is it also not profitable? Yes. 
because you need to be smart about Bitcoin mining. I always say, you know, I have people, okay, this is a tip. This is a really, you know, I need you to take note of this. If you have 2000 pounds, for example, and you want to buy a miner, do not buy a miner. Do not buy because let's say you're going to buy the S17, the Ant Miner S17 56 Terra hashes. You know, you're going to have zero dollars or zero pounds, euros, whatever you want. When you have zero of that, who's going to pay the bills? Okay, who's going to pay the electric bill? Who's going to pay any maintenance fees if there is? Okay, the problem is what I'm trying to say right here is that if you want to buy a miner, buy a cheaper miner, even if it's less profitable. You know, don't put yourself in a position where you have no money, okay, you have no reserves, because the whole point of Bitcoin mining, and I always teach my students this, okay, in consulting, that the whole point of mining is to accumulate the cryptocurrency you're mining. How do you think all the people, you know, in the cryptocurrency space became millionaires and billionaires, okay, they actually accumulate the cryptocurrency, they accumulate Bitcoin, Ethereum, Okay, any other mineable coin or proof of stake coin like NEO. So always focus on accumulation and always have like an emergency fund. For example, you will have a miner for $500. Okay, maybe down here, you know, old miners, okay, miners that, you know, are not that efficient anymore. Okay, or are efficient a bit. You get your hands on that miner. Okay, you would have, for example, $1,000 in reserves, okay, and you would have, like, invest $500, and you will pay the electricity, and you're accumulating more of that coin. As you're accumulating more, okay, you can then sell at a higher price and then scale your Bitcoin mining or cryptocurrency mining operation. So always focus on accumulation, not actually, you know, selling your cryptocurrency. So that is it for today, you know, be smart, be diligent, and always stay on the mining side so thank you guys for watching this video from bit truth and i implore you to subscribe like and comment down below your thoughts about bitcoin mining or maybe litecoin mining so uh, see you guys on the next video